is bullet trimming dead? I would probably argue it's more necessary than ever right now. And you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense. Bullets are getting better and, you know, trimming is probably a thing of the past. But I will tell you that when it comes to competing, you need every edge you can. And, you know, trimming and pointing bullets just honestly gives your bullets better BC and better grouping capability. But here's sort of the timeline for me. And I don't know, maybe there's other people that are in the same boat. I used to trim. And I used to point. Well, I still point. But I mean, uh, when I first started out, I did it. I trimmed and I pointed and I was doing great. And I was shooting the Burger 180 grain, you know, seven mils and, and everything was fine. And then Burger started coming out with new bullets and they had the 184 grain bullet. And, you know, it was a much better looking, you know, better made, if you will, bullet than the 180. It had a nicer tip, more uniform looking. Uh, you know, and I, I kind of just started getting lazy and I wasn't trimming and I wasn't pointing. And then they came out with the 190 grain and that was, you know, even better and, and more uniform and it did come pointed. And, you know, you start going, oh man, like that saves me a ton of time and, and you know, I can put it towards something else. And, you know, the reality is I just didn't enjoy shooting the 190s and, um, you know, the 184s are okay, but really the 180 grains, when it comes to 284, they're kind of the bee's knees. But you got to pretty them up. You got to trim the me plats and you got to point them. And if you want them to shoot at their, their absolute best. So that means getting a good trimming system. Now, I like the Hoover because it does a couple things. And I think it does that better than a lot of the other bullet trimmers out there. And there's a couple ways that you can order it. So the first is with this little hand crank. And that's kind of the standard setup. You can also order this additional hex adapter, which I will show you in a few minutes. Now, not only does the uh, unit do trimming, it is also a very capable bullet sorter. Now, if I wasn't going to be trimming and pointing, I honestly wouldn't sort bullets, but that's just me. But when it comes to trimming and pointing, it is pretty necessary. And this thing does it very, very well. So if you pull out the cutter unit, and let me see if I can kind of sneak around the side here. See that slot right there? So we're going to be using that slot. Okay. And let me just tilt the camera up just a little bit here. And we're going to be taking our calipers. And we're going to put them in that slot right there. And then I'm going to tighten down this knob. Okay. See? It holds it. Now, I, I, mean, I do usually tighten it down, then I get my fingers on it. I'm going to loosen it just a little bit, and then I'm going to square it up and just tighten it down one more time. And that's just what I like to do. Uh, I am also going to put on the little Hornady end piece to help give the bullet a better foundation to sit on. Okay, so there we go. Now, it's really easy. I'm going to turn on my calipers. And I am going to put a bullet in, I'm going to close it, and I'm going to zero it. Now I have five buckets here, plus I have a sixth one that's in, well, I'll put it down here. It's already got a couple bullets in it, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, and now this bullet becomes my zero bucket, and then anything that measures plus one or plus two goes there, and minus one and minus two. Anything that does not fit in this criteria is going to go in this bucket. And ideally, most of them are going to go down the middle. So there's plus one thousandths, half a thousand, so that'll just stay in the middle, plus one, zero. Let's see here. We'll just do a couple. Zero. Now this one's plus three and a half, so that's gonna go in the reject pile. That'll, those will go for like blow offs and stuff. Zero, anyway, you get the idea. I'm not gonna make a whole video on sorting bullets on this thing, but you get the idea that it does a really good job. Two and a half thousand, so we'll go ahead and put that down here. Plus one, and I would go through and do however many, 100, 200, 300, whatever I need to do, plus four. Zero. So you can see it does a really good job of very quickly measuring. Uh, it does utilize the bearing surface. So 
we're not going to get into a fundamental debate over how to measure bullets, but it does a very effective job of measuring the bullets based on bearing surface. So let's go ahead and turn this off and we will take this out for now. Okay. And then I am going to open this back up so I can fit the little cutting unit in. And now let me show you how we actually trim. All right, let's get over this so that you get a better view of what's happening. All right, so there we go. So you can see the cutter here, okay? So the cutter moves in and out. You adjust it based on loosening this so that the um, cutter can go through the handle here. And it's really simple. Now, let me show you a little trick first. So on your iPhone, if you have one, I don't know if Android does something similar, but when you're here, you just triple tap the button on the side and up pops a magnifier. Now, if I look under the magnifier here, you can see what my bullet looks like. And you can see it's, oops, it's a little raggedy. There's a good shot. Okay, so what I want to do now is take this bullet, put it in, and I'm just going to slowly, I've tightened down the handle here, and I'm slowly just going to turn. Now, I usually, when I'm actually trimming, I use the motorized thing, but this is actually what you want to use. And then what we're going to do is start looking for a little more uniformity. So see how, see how it's starting to kind of square off a little bit. So it's looking a lot better. I want to do a little bit more. Okay, so let's see how this looks now. So that's looking pretty close. I'm just going to go just a hair more. And what I'm doing is I'm basically creating a gauge bullet, a bullet that will set the standard for all the other ones. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. So you don't want to take off any more than you really have to. But see how nice that looks now? But remember, even though it looks massively wide, uh, it's also going to get pointed later. So there's that. Now what I want to do is I want all the other ones to get cut to that length. So I'm going to loosen this. So now this is sliding on, so it's doing this, right? It's sliding on here. And now I'm going to hold the bullet and I'm just gonna push very slowly until this stops, okay? And then, and I can actually push through the hole with my pinky a little bit just to, so I'm pushing, I'm pushing this way and then I'm pushing the cutter and now I just want to tighten that. Okay, so now, okay, now it's perfectly fit. So now all I need to do is take my next bullet. Now the reason I know this is going to work is watch this move. It's pushed all the way against. Watch it move out a little bit. Did you see that? So it, see how it moved out a little bit? So now I just hold the bullet in and turn until it bottoms out. And I have what should be another beautifully trimmed bullet. So it's really that easy. Um, now, let's talk about the power unit, which honestly is my favorite way to use it. So I'm gonna take off the handle and I'm going to attach this piece. And then I'm going to uh, just lightly snug it for a second and I want to take that this is that first bullet my gauge bullet and I'm going to put it in and I'm going to I have to reset this now okay so you can see here that I'm loosening this collar but it won't go any further in okay and that is because inside here is a little black threaded you can kind of can't really see it from this side but from this side, you can see there's a little black thread uh, screw or bolt coming through, and I need to back that out a little bit. So I'm going to use an Allen head 
and I am going to back this off okay. and then I am going to slide it on so now it's snug now I'm gonna put the Allen wrench back let me just show you here I'm going to just put the Allen head in and I'm going to turn this until I can feel so see how it's pushing away I'm kind of exaggerating this but see how it's pushing this away now so I want to back it off and then I'm going to back it off a little bit more just so that it has a little bit of room to play now I am going to push this forward once more I'm going to slide this on now when it stops right, then I can just go until it just barely touches okay so right there and then tighten this down and now I'm good to go and you get the hang of it once you it's a little bit harder because I'm working under a camera here but you get the idea so now it's going to trim where I want and if I want to I can now take my I can take my DeWalt and hook it up here and now you can really rock and roll so I mean, it goes really quick. Okay, so I can feel when that's done. So it, it sort of releases, it, it's hard to explain until you feel it. You can feel it cutting and then it suddenly stops having any pressure. Okay, and again, it's a little bit tougher because I'm working over the camera, but you get the idea there. And now, if I take these and I measure, four, nine, eight. One, it's hard to get them on an angle. Damn, this is tougher on, tougher under a camera than it looks. Okay, one, four, nine, eight, five. One, four, nine, eight, five. So the nice thing is when you're done doing this, there we go. Okay, they're all within a thousandths. Um, and they actually measure out a little closer than that when I'm not trying to fidget like I am. But the nice thing is now these are all sorted. Uh, sorry, they don't need to be sorted the same way necessarily for bullet pointing. You still want to keep an eye on it. But um, even if I take, so this was one that was like four thousandths off, right? Same thing. Ugh. There you go. 1495. So even though it measured uh, about four thousandths longer, once it's sorted out and then um, trimmed, you know, you're good to go. So uh, I still nece wouldn't necessarily use them in my regular um, shooting. I would still put them in my blow offs, but uh, the fact is it makes it a lot easier. So anyway that's really all there is to it um this thing uh, i usually put a little cup i have a smaller one that fits right under there so all the shavings go pretty much into the cup and i mean once you get this thing set up you can just rip through uh rip through your bullets like crazy uh, with the power adjustment like i said it's a little easier to come in from the back and make an adjustment if you do want to make it a little longer or shorter uh after you've loosened this uh, you don't have quite that luxury with the hand crank, but it's still not, I mean, it's still not that big a deal. So anyway, great little tool, really helps you get where you want. Uh, I'm going to put a couple pictures up here at the end and you'll get to see what uh, the before, the trimmed, and then the pointed bullets look like in progression. And I think you're going to see a big difference and be a little surprised. So there you go. If you're looking to up your bullets, this is the way to do it. Talk to you guys later.